now once we understand how we can make the login page let's take a look at how to create the register page when you click on this sign up link it's going to redirect us to the register page now let's create this register page so i'm going to just back to my project and you can see i'm going to have here register.js file open it and instead of this div we need to wrap this in the layout component so i'm going to say here import layout from in the single quote i'm going to say double dot forward slash layout layout.js and then i'm going to copy this component and replace this with this division tag when i save the changes i'm going to have the default layout styling to this register page just out of that my register and the login page are identical so instead of adding all the code of this login again let me copy this section something like this and then specify that inside this register so instead of this h1 heading tag i'm going to paste the section tag something like this now at the end you have to import these statements so i'm going to copy this and specify that right up here right now i don't have this show so let me just specify here true for now save the changes and you can see i'm going to have the same login page as a response but what i want instead of this login i want the register page so let me just change few things of this register page so at the top instead of this h1 heading tag here i'm going to say register save this just out of that right down here inside this form instead of this email here i'm going to specify here type text this is for username so i'm going to pass here username and the placeholder is going to be username or you can just copy this division tag and paste that right up here and then you can change this type to text this email became username and this placeholder became username and you can replace this type to email save this so you'll have another input text box here just out of that at the bottom right after this input text box right down here i'm going to copy this div and paste that right down here and instead of password i'm going to change this to c password means confirm password so right here instead of this placeholder i'm going to say confirm password and then i'm going to change this name to c password let me save this here i'm going to have another text box you can notice and now i'm going to get rid of both these buttons i'm not using this google and this github button inside this register page so i'm going to get rid of that right from here save this so i'm going to have this login button you can see what i want i want to change these icons now so instead of this add the data icon here to the first input text box i'm going to change this to outline user and let me import that right up here something like this so i'm going to have this user you can see now just for that let me just add visibility to this password so as you know right down here i only have true inside this statement instead of this i'm going to create a new state here so at the top i'm going to say constant show and set show is equal to use state we already imported this use state at the top you can notice and inside this use state this time instead of just this true value i'm going to specify here an object this is because right now we have two input text boxes so inside this object i'm going to create a property called password and specify default value false and for the confirm password i'm going to say c password is going to be false and then instead of this true i'm going to say here show dot password and write down here instead of true i'm going to say here show dot c password this text box is for confirm password so we pass here c password after that we also have on click event which will invert the value of this show variable so instead of just show we specify here show dot c password and at the top we specify show dot password and if i want to see my password i can click on this button but that will not work this is because this statement is going to change the initial value of the state so what we have to do is we need to get the initial state first and then change the initial value so instead of this statement i'm going to get rid of it and pass here an object and inside this object we first get the initial value so i'm going to say here show and we need to use a spread operator like this and then combine the password field so pass here comma and say here password and the value is going to be show dot password but i'm going to invert this value so i'm going to pass here exclamation mark 
and let me do the same for this confirm password i'm going to paste this statement here and instead of password i'm going to say here c password and this became c password so i'm changing the value of the c password variable let me save this now if i click on this button you can see i can see my password i can toggle my c password and password and just out of that when you scroll down here you can see we have this paragraph instead of don't have an account now we can say have an account then go to this login page and then i'm going to change this text to sign in save this so i'm going to have this text here now when i click on this sign in i'm going to redirect to the login page and now when i click on this sign up i'm simply going to redirect to the register page 